Hey guys! If you're new to my channel, my name is Jessie. I am a wedding photographer based in Reno, Nevada. And for those of you that have been continually following me, welcome back. And I'm so excited to start 2017 with you guys. I do have a couple of things that I'm going to kind of change up a little bit this year. So stay tuned. I'm, I don't know if I'll actually make like an official announcement kind of thing or what that will be, but I am going to include some new, more lifestyle kind of videos to this channel. I will definitely be keeping a lot of the book things because that's originally what I started out to do and I absolutely love it, but I just want to throw in a few other things that I've kind of continued to get interested in and I've had a lot of people question about. So I thought making a video would be the easiest way to help get that information out to a larger amount of people. So yeah, anyways, back to this video. This is going to be my January TBR. It is going to be the list of books that I want to read during the month of January. Some of them are ones that I either purchased or some were sent to me. Um, one is an art copy and then there's also a couple graphic novels or like comic trades or whatever you want to call them. So those are included as well. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. The first one I have for you guys was a gift that I got for Christmas and it was from my husband. It is Salt by Nayura Wahid and this one so far I kind of picked it up and one of the first two or three kind of like pages in I was like oh I don't know if this one's for me. I had heard a lot of hype and I just wasn't really connecting with it. I decided to keep going, push through it since I was only a few pages in and the further I get into this the more I am in love with it so I'm really glad that I stuck it out. It's um kind of an interesting um, writing style and I know that a lot of people are saying this is more of a modern poetry. I am not by any means a poetry like expert or anything. This is just, I'm just dabbling in it. I loved Milk and Honey so I picked up something that I was told was similar to that style. This just happened to be it and so far I am really enjoying it so be on the lookout for a like wrap up of this eventually or a review of it and um, that way we can kind of chat about it because I, ha I do know that a few people that have read it and I would love to bounce kind of ideas and what you got from it versus what I'm getting from it and I think that's one of the great things about poetry is just how like individual it can be based on experiences and how you interpret things and I just think it's so open-ended and I would love to chat so yes stay tuned for that. Then I have The Marriage Lie by Kimberly Bell. This was recently released. I was sent this from BookSparks so thank you to BookSparks. I'm really looking forward to get into it. I've had quite a few people say that they also picked it up after they saw it in one of my videos so if you guys want to do a like read along or buddy read or whatever you want to do for like the month, comment below so we can start like a group. So either comment below with your like Instagram handle, I will follow you guys. We'll start like a uh, direct message group so that we can all be there, chat about it, and just have some fun with it because I think this is going to be a really great thriller and I would love to share it with you guys. So like I said, if you're interested, let me know and let's get a group going. The next book on the list is On Second Thought. This is by Kristen Higgins. This was sent to me by Little Bird Publicity. Ooh, the glare. Okay, so Little Bird Publicity. So thank you so much to Claire. I so appreciate it and I've loved the friendship we've been able to form and the books that we've been able to collaborate on. Really looking forward to this. This is the art copy that I kind of briefly mentioned in the beginning of this video. And this one comes out on January 31st. So excited to get into it. It sounds like it's going to be a really great um, kind of launching point into like a spring romance type thing. So I'm really excited to get into it. Again, this is another one that comes out on January 31st. I will have sneak peeks along the way on my um, bookstagram. So if you don't follow me there, please do that. Also watch out for its release. And then again, the full review when I'm done will be posted here. So be sure to subscribe. Make sure the notifications are on. You'll see this the second it comes out. So the last book that I have on my January TBR is one that I started, oh my gosh, I think back in like October when it was released. And I was so excited for it and I immediately jumped in. I like sped read through a lot of it and then it started getting to these pieces that have so much information or these chapters that have so much information. It's just packed full of information that I felt like overwhelmed so I backed off. Then there's workbook type things in there. So I was working through those and it just got to the point where I was just, you know, couldn't deal with it. It was a lot and I felt overwhelmed and just not sure what, you know, if I was doing it correctly, if I was going in the right direction, what I really wanted. So I put it aside, stopped to think about it. And now that I am full swing with my winter capsule wardrobe, I decided to pick it back up, 
want to finish it during this month and just continue to see how that all improves. Um, and it is called The Curated Closet by Anushka Reese. And this is, like I said, packed full of information. It's so helpful. It's a wonderful resource. And this is part of that little, like, so you're getting a little inside info here. But this is kind of where I want some of my channel to go is a little bit into this capsule wardrobe because I've had such a huge response on my personal Instagram when I shared my capsule transition from fall to winter. So this is my second winter, oh no, not second winter, but second capsule that I've done. And I just feel like I really want to help share it with everybody because I feel like it was so empowering for me and I want to share that knowledge and what I've been learning and just kind of like the experience along the way. So just another way to document it and help share and get that info out because a lot of people wanted it. I felt like this is the easiest way. So anyways, fantastic book. If you are interested in like minimalism or capsule wardrobes or just having a better curated closet with intentional purchases that go towards a style that is so like collective and um, like just maximizing it, this one is definitely for you. So correction here, the last book that I do have on my January TBR is actually one that I have pre-ordered, so I don't have the physical copy yet because it hasn't been released. It comes out on the 9th, I believe, and it's called Lucian Divine by Renee Carlino. So I will leave a link to that. I talk about it in one of my most anticipated reads of 2017. So again, the link will be below and a pre-order link in case you want to join me. That's another one that I'm really excited for this month and can't wait to get into. So I'm leaving a little bit of leeway here in that TBR so I can get to that as soon as it arrives. And I believe it said on the 11th, which I'm really surprised because mostly with Amazon, when you pre-order, you can get it the same day, but for some reason, I, it says the 11th, so I don't know. We'll see if it shows up on the 9th or the 11th, but anyway, somewhere in that time frame, I'll be reading that too, so. The last part of my January TBR is going to be comic book trades, and the first one that I have here is Revival Volume 2. I read the first volume a little bit ago. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to see where the story went, so I ordered Volume 2. So here it is. I'll probably have to skim through the first one just to kind of recap before I jump into Volume 2 because it's been a little bit, but I'm really excited to continue on and see how the pieces start to fall into play here because there's a lot that's open and not understood. So I definitely want to get back into this series. I am absolutely just loving it. It's kind of a different take on life after death type zombie thing, but they're not really zombies. That's what's the interesting part of this. It's a different spin on it. So they come back as truly themselves. So it's very interesting, like I said, and I'm intrigued by it. So I'm going to keep going. Sorry if that is a little babbling there. I don't know what my problem is, but apparently I just like to talk endless amounts of just nothingness. So, okay. So the next one is Saga Volume 2. I just shared my Volume 1 review, which I can link below for you guys. I am seriously just blown away by this series so far, and I can't believe that I waited so freaking long to pick this up. The hype truly is worth it. So I ordered the second volume immediately as I finished the first volume, and it got here, and then again, things picked up with the holidays, so I just didn't get into it, so now I'm excited to go ahead and get into it. But I'm also debating about just waiting and getting two, three, four, five, whatever else is out, and just like binge reading them all in a season or a weekend or whatever I'm trying to say there, but I don't know. I just, I really love this and I can't wait to continue on. The third comic that I want to read this month is The Wicked and the Divine. This is volume one. I have had this for quite some time now and I just haven't picked it up because I had some other series that I have like part one and this and that. So I was going to try to like finish a series and then I just decided I'm tired of it just sitting there and I really want to read it and see what people are talking about because this was another one that has come highly recommended so I'm excited to dive into this. I don't know a lot about it but what I do know is like these gods every so often every couple years or something like that they get re like incarnated into these um, like celebrities on earth and they only have like x amount of time to live so I'm not sure what this is really truly about that's kind of the gist that I've gotten from it but I'm very excited and look forward to diving in pretty soon here. Lastly is one that I just came across quite a while ago after I read the very first comic that I've ever read called Lady Killer, and I'm very intrigued by these like 1950s like housewife type deals, and this one just fit the bill. It is called The New Deal. What I also really love about it is it's a hardcover, and it's pretty thick, um, well not thick, I guess, kind of for a comic, I suppose, but this isn't like an ongoing series, and the inside is completely blue, so I think that's interesting. I really don't know other than 
I think there's um, some kind of deal with some bank robbers type thing. So I'm interested. Like I said, it's just something that caught my eye and I picked it up. So I can't wait to dive in and share it with you guys as well. And hopefully if it's that good, make it a little bit more well known because it was one that I haven't heard a lot about. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, stay tuned. I have so many videos coming your way. They're just like backlogged and I seriously, I was only posting once to twice a week and now I'm posting literally like four to five times a week just trying to catch up because I have all these things that I just want to share with you guys. So hopefully you guys are liking it. If you are, please thumbs up and I will see you guys soon. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye.